Pope Leo XIII, one of the greatest popes in modern history. Once I went on a journey looking for this great leader, but what I found was a sleeping giant that could quite possibly change the whole world. So my wife and I are in Rome. We're traveling across Italy visiting family and we stop at the Vatican. And we're standing in line, there's so many people. And they've got those rope things to keep you in line. You don't wanna get out of line. They got those rope guys there to make sure that you don't cross the ropes. So as we're shuffling through in one side and out the other, I'm trying to make the most of this time by visiting the tombs of some of my heroes. So St. Peter, JP II, Pius X, and Pope Leo XIII. Wait a minute. I may be a little rusty on my Roman numerals. I'm not quite sure, but I, I think that's a 12. Pope Leo the 12th? I don't know anything about him. I'm sure he's a great guy and everything, but I'm looking for Pope Leo the 13th. Where's Pope Leo the 13th? So I ask one of the rope guys, where's Pope Leo the 13th? And he points to the 12th. No, 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 no. That's the 12th. I need the 13th. He gets a confused look on his face. I don't know if it's because I'm speaking English or if because he didn't know there was a Pope Leo XIII. So he walks over to another rope guy, and I don't understand what they're saying, but the second rope guy looked just as confused as the first rope guy. Before long, there's a small gathering of rope guys, and I'm starting to think that this is getting a little bit out of hand. All of the sudden, the head rope guy shows up. I know he was the head rope guy because he had a clipboard. He looks at me, and in broken English, he says, not here. And I say, oh. Thank you. And I start to walk away. But then I wondered, wait a minute. He's the Pope. Isn't he supposed to be here? Where is he? What'd you guys do with the Pope? So I turned back to them and I said, Dove. It, it's Italian. It means where. So this gets everything all worked up again. Rope guys on walkie-talkies calling other rope guys. No one knows where the Pope is. I, I think I'm just going to ask the feather, you know, the Swiss guard, they're supposed to know where the Pope is. But wait, are they allowed to talk to you? I might be getting them confused with the, the Queen's guard. I'm not, I'm not sure. One industrious rope guy pulls out a cell phone and looks up Pope Leo XIII on Wikipedia. I, I could have done that. I, I just thought you guys knew because you're the rope guys. Am I the first one to ever ask where Pope Leo XIII is? Alexa? How many people visit the Vatican each day? Maybe I'm the first person who knew his Roman numerals. No, dude, it's it's Rome. That's that's what they do there. Do you think that this rope guy has been pointing people to Pope Leo XII for years? All of the sudden, all the rope guys get excited and start shouting out, San Giovanni in Laterno, in Laterno. What? They show me on my map. You know, the little cartoon map that they give you at the hotel makes the entire city of Rome look just like the Magic Kingdom. FYI, if you've never been to Rome before, you need to know this. Even though the map looks like Disney World, Rome is not a little theme park. The Vatican and the Lateran Basilica, it's not like walking from the Hall of Presidents to Space Mountain. It's really, really, really far. Twice as far in July. Don't skimp on cab fare. Your wife will not be happy with you. Let's just leave it at that. So hours later, when we finally got to the Lateran Basilica, we were so hot and we were so tired I was not looking forward to standing in another long, long line to get into this place. But as we got closer, there was no lines. There were no ropes. There were no people. It was deserted. Just to be clear, the Lateran, it's just like the Vatican. I mean, it's just like the Vatican. It's, it's the cathedral church for the Roman diocese. It's huge. It's beautiful. It's full of history. But there's no lines, there's no ropes, there's no people. We're at this huge, massive basilica looking for Pope Leo XIII and we can't find him anywhere and this place is empty. There's no one to help us out. Too bad there's no rope people here. It's kind of like, have you ever had a, a project that you're working on and you need one little part so you go up to Home Depot to get it and you can't find it anywhere so you start walking around looking for one of those orange apron guys? It, it's just like that. Ladare, we have an important project that we're working on and we just need one little part. Pope Leo XIII, he's an important piece of the puzzle. It's just like that. Finally, 
I think I see across the nave what might be the silhouette of another human person. So we begin the long journey across the church. And as we get closer, I can tell it's a, it's a priest and he's smiling at us. I think he can tell that we're lost or maybe we just look like stupid American tourists. He's, he's looking at us waiting for us to say something. Now, before I start this part, in my defense, I'm pretty sure I had a slight case of heat stroke from the long walk. Finally, someone who can help us out. But what language, what language do I speak? English? Italian? He's looking at me so confused. I've got to say something. So I did. And what came out was a mixture of bad English, broken Italian, a little Spanish, and I think there was some high school French mixed in. So here's the kicker. In all the confusion of this modern day reenactment of the Tower of Babel, I forgot the Pope's name. I mean, it was right there. It was on the tip of my tongue. Do dove Papa, Papa, Dove Papa. It's like when you're at Home Depot talking to the orange apron guy and you don't know the name of the little part, but you don't want to let off that you don't know the name of the little part because there's like legit workmen walking around pushing carts with building materials on it. And they're looking at you and your khakis and your loafers and they're like, hey, what's that guy doing here? His wife sent him here for mulch. It's not here. It's in the gar It's outside in the garden department. This is plumbing. You don't, you don't belong here. What was his name? Oh, this, he must be thinking these, these stupid Americans. Quick, say something so he won't think all Americans are stupid. Seriously, the reputation of an entire country is resting on your shoulders. So I looked at him and I said the first thing that came to mind. Je ne parle pas français. Luckily, my wife interrupts and asks, where's Pope Leo the 13th? Oh, Papa Leone Tredici. Leone? Who's that? Papa Leone. There he is, the Pope who wrote Rerum Novarum, teaching the idea of subsidiarity, that responsibilities should be handled at the local level as opposed to having an overbearing centralized authority. He revived Thomism in seminaries. He created the Pontifical Academy of St. Thomas Aquinas. He's known as the Rosary Pope because he wrote 11 encyclicals on the Rosary. He also wrote the Prayer to St. Michael, and he wrote extensively against the heresy now known as modernism, as well as Freemasonry. There, right beneath his tomb, I knelt down and I prayed to God for the intercession of Pope Leo, for our ministry, Ladare, that we might have the grace to preach well, like he did, against the errors of the heresy of modernism. And that is what this channel is all about. And the purpose of our ministry, Ladare, to teach this faith that is being eclipsed by the message of modernism and overshadowed by scandals. Ladare, our mission is to inspire young people to come back to this faith, to give them something real, something beautiful, something holy to fight for. The Vatican was amazing, but my experience there was not so much spiritual as it was touristy. A lot of lines, a lot of ropes. At the latter end, I found a very different experience, a grandeur a history, a church that is a sleeping giant, a missionary giant. 800 years ago in this very basilica, St. Francis and St. Dominic met face to face to share their common mission. Do you have a missionary's heart? Ladare is a small community of Franciscans, Dominicans, and laity that have come together to preach against the errors of modernism. Does that sound like you? If so, subscribe to this channel and head over to our website, ladare.org, to learn more about us. It was Taco Tuesday, so I stopped at the grocery store to pick up a couple of things. But while I was checking out, apparently the lady at that register over there, apparently she was having a really difficult time. Because as I'm standing there, I hear 